Today I'm going to show our solution to minimize river pollution from agricultural runoff utilizing traditional reed beds and a simple low cost biochar filtration system we have designed. At the start we have our current compost window of biochar, tree fines and cattle manure. The addition of biochar and tree fines into the cattle manure massively reduces the pollution emissions, both gas and liquid. Then we move from this to the our existing reed bed which we made about five, six years ago. Uh, it's a cascading reed bed with the alternative, uh, the dams let the water go around right-handed and left-handed and right-handed, so we get a very good flow through them. As you can see, it's established very, very well, and we're achieving fantastic filtration results with this. The results were so good that last year we decided to uh, extend it and add a biochar filter that we had in mind, as well as a settlement pond prior to it discharging to the stream. This was brought about a lot by the uh, problems with all the runoff into the rivers and the problems in the River Y, uh, etc. So it was a very important thing I felt that we needed to do to address this issue. So and as you can see now, we're, we're flying down the, uh, the what we built last year. The reeds haven't established yet, so, uh, but they will do this year. Uh, they are all planted. They're just coming through now. And as we approach, as you can see, as we approach the bottom, the ponds are actually still getting clearer and clearer until we arrive at the biochar filter. The biochar filter is extremely simple. It was three IBC tanks cut in half in which we put a, um, a cage in them and we put hessian, lined it with hessian, filled it with biochar and we have three beautiful biochar filters. The one on the left uh, is currently operational. The middle will become operational with more water flow and then the one on the right becomes operational with more water flow again. If the one on the left plugs, then the one in the middle and the one on the right will take over until we replace the biochar. As you can see, the discharge from the biochar filters into the pond, we actually uh, let it cascade down to get some more aeration. I uh, don't know if it needs it or not, but it's exceedingly clean. Look how clear the water is. And uh, overall, we've been very, very, very happy with the result. So much so that we are regularly wild swimming in this pond now. We've actually got two Canada geese that are wild swimming as well, and they seem very at home. So, just to summarize, I would say that estimate-wise, it's probably cost us less than £10,000 all in to build, which I think is very good value for money. And you'd probably need about £200 worth of biochar to replace the filters three or four times a year, which is all it will require. However, as we tend to use the biochar back into the compost mix, then it's fundamentally for free, so it doesn't cost you anything for the biochar. So all in all, I think this is a really, really good solution that would be easy to roll out in many, many agricultural and small industrial situations, uh, which would go a long way to mitigating the problems we're having in water courses currently. Okay, now for the test. Ah, oh, looks pretty good to me. Yeah, it is alright too.